वेलकम व्यूवर्स आई एम प्रोफेसर आशीष अग्रवाल प्रोग्राम कोऑर्डिनेटर फॉर प्रोग्राम पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट सर्टिफिकेट इन इन्वेंट्री प्लानिंग एंड वेयर हाउसिंग सिस्टम सो इन टुडे सेशन वी विल कवर द डेफिनेशन ऑफ सप्लाई चेन सप्लाई चेन मैनेजमेंट अनदर टर्म व्हिच आई विल इंट्रोड्यूस दैट इज अ डेवलपमेंट चेन then we will discuss why there is a need of supply chain management and in the last we will cover what are the benefits of supply chain management let me first introduce that why there is a need of a supply chain there are four big companies boeing aircraft us surgical corporation IBM big computer giant and Intel these all four companies were doing very well and they were leader in their respective markets but what happened the Boeing aircraft because of the raw material shortages their productivity decreases second US surgical corporation they have anticipated the large inventory that leads to the shortfall in the sales and earnings same thing happened in ibm there was a shortage in the supply because they were not able to estimate what is the number of different quantities for producing one unit and same thing happened with the intel because Uh, they were unable to match their supply with the demand so there was a decline in their profit and that was a 38% now let me explain you what is supply chain nowadays everybody is talking about the supply chain and supply chain management in a plain or in a layman language as you have seen in the figure we have a manufacturer we have a supplier we have a distributor we have a customer so all parties involved directly or indirectly in fulfilling a customer demand because just like manufacturer or the dealer he or she is directly associated with the customer demand but if you just say that packing material they are not the directly involved but still if they are producing something it is indirectly affecting the supply chain therefore all the parties whether they are involved directly or indirectly are the part of the supply chain so basically there are six components your manufacturer supplier transporter warehouse uh, then distributor or retailer and then finally your customer so these are the six component of any supply chain so what is happening in a supply chain we are producing raw material uh, from the mines different types of sources are there we will produce certain products they may be semi finished or finished then when we will have the product we will ship the product to the warehouses for the intermediate storage and finally ship the product to the final customer or even we are going to the customer through distributor or the retailer i just want to explain one of the biggest supply chain for a soap industry if you just see this figure on the left side you have a procter and gamble who is a manufacturing the soap now from there it will go to a mall or retailer i have taken as a jewel as a retailer shop or uh, then it will go to the supermarket and from there it goes to the customer it can be direct retailer to the customer now what are the different components of a soap plastic producer then packaging and some chemical so these are the three basic components now 
chemical industry is producing certain items paper industry or the paper manufacturing taking papers from the timber industry they are giving so they are combining at certain places that is called the procter and gamble and then it is goes to the customer you will appreciate that the supply chain start working only when the customer visit the shop or the uh, retail or the uh, supermarket because without moving the customer it is very difficult there is of any movement in the supply chain so if we just see the definition of a supply chain supply chain is nothing but a flow of goods services that includes all the processes that transform raw material into the final products now why there is a need of a supply chain or supply chain management i have pointed out eight points the first one is your operation operation means the processing of raw material into the semi finished or the finished good so why we said that the supply chain management helps in improving the operation because when you make a balance between supply and demand by properly coordinating between the supplier vendors dealers retailers you have a clear information about the customer demand so what is happening you are conveying the exact data to the shop floor through man distributor or the retailer if suppose you are not getting the correct information about the customer demand what will happen you will unnecessary either make the product or you will not make the product if you make the product and it is not in demand what will happen your product will remain unsold in second type when you do not make the product what is happening there is a demand but customer is not getting any product of his or her choice so what will happen customer will go somewhere else or your operation will hamper so that is why if you have a proper supply chain for maintaining the operation or improving the operation you need a supply chain second is increasing the level of outsourcing we have discussed that supply chain also tells you what to make inside and what to buy from outside because you have a system you know the your capability you know the what type of operation you can perform in your shop floor and certain operation here we say that only put emphasis on your core competency for example if a automobile company has the core competency in manufacturing cars in making engines so they are not going to devote time on the tire manufacturing or the transportation so what will they will do they will outsource or they will have the another vendor who will supply the tires similarly your glasses the glass is a not a core competency for a four wheeler car manufacturer so what they will do they will simply outsource it so here you what you are doing that you are increasing the level of outsourcing and you are allowing 
to focus on your core competency because it is waste of time to put energy and the resources on a activities which are not the core competency of your company another point which will emphasize the need of supply chain is increasing the transportation cost now every day the price of diesel and the gasoline are increasing so you need to optimize it now what is the need of optimizing first thing having a better supply chain coordination you will have the reliable supplier or the vendors every time you will try to optimize the transportation cost and that is why we need a supply chain management another important point is enhancing the competitive pressure today we are not working in a nationalized way we are working globally our all activities are seen or observed by the companies across the globe so what is happening that when you have a better supply chain when you are projecting yourself in a better position your market share is improving because of your better supply chain management you are uh, going for a uh, more competitive pressure and when there is a more competitive pressure you will try to involve or innovate new strategies to grab more market share the fifth point is increasing globalization now when you are producing certain items and you are getting customer outside your nation or the country and another important point that due to technological advancement certain vendors are available across the globe that expertise may or may not be available in your country if you have a better supply chain management why i am saying again and again better supply chain that means when you have a supply chain when you have a vendor now there is a need to provide certain logistic to the vendor because that vendor needs raw material similarly the items which he is producing that needs to come in your country within a very short period of time sixth point is increasing the importance of e-commerce e-commerce means your online platform you just take the example of any online company what is happening it is providing a comfort to our customer he or she used to sit even on a mobile he or she can order now what is happening when there is a increase uh, importance of e-commerce then on the back end you need a better supply chain because once the customer pays the money online the activities of the supply chain gets started seventh is that as you are growing as your e-commerce is growing you always feel there is a complexity of supply chain earlier what was happening when you need milk you go to the milk man you wait for there and they will measure the quantity of the milk and you come to your house 
Now, what is now happening? That if you are going to a booth which is very near to your house, the milk pouches are coming early in the morning. Now, when they are coming from a small retailer, the big distributor will give to the retailer and the manufacturer will give to the distributor. So, you just see that earlier there was no supply chain. Only you have to go to the milkman where he is taking milk from the cow or the buffalo. He will give after measuring the quantity. But now you have a flexibility. You can at any time you can take uh, any quantity of milk. So that why and this will only possible when you have a better supply chain. Another important point is managing the inventories. In my earlier session, uh, which is a also the uh, uh, comes in the name of the program that postgraduate certificate in inventory planning and warehousing system, the need of a supply chain is related to the inventory management because there are several other terms which will come just like lead time or maximum quantity or minimum quantity, reorder point. So, the most important objective that your shop floor should not be idle. When it, it is not idle, when the components of the raw material reaches to the shop floor without any delay. So, for that you have to measure the optimum value of lead time that depends upon the certain factor just like transit inventory, your uh, distance from the uh, factory uh, from the supplier or vendor all things will depend and on the basis of that you decide what should be your lead time, what should be the your maximum inventory and what should be minimum inventory. Another term which will come is a safety stop. Even if you have the lead time, it is quite possible due to uncertainty the items are not reaching. So, for that you need the safety stock that will manage the uh, position when the item is not reached. So, what is happening in a supply chain? Basically, it is integrated your suppliers, manufacturer, warehouses and stores and producing merchandise is produced and distributed. And the third important point is that we have to minimize the system wide cost because that is the optimum or the overall goal of any supply chain management. If we see or make some observation from this definition that we have to focus on the cost and we have to fulfill the customer requirement. Another important point that supply chain management is not the individual approach, it is a system approach. Third important point, there are three levels, first is your operational level, second is your tactical level and third is your strategical level. Day to day activities come under the operational level. Uh, if it is one week or two week that comes under the tactical, but if it goes from one month to one year, then we take as a strategical activities. We have the supplier which uh, with which uh, with which with whom we can have the arm length relationship or uh, we only hire them and then we say goodbye to them. They are called as a short term. Another type of supplier is a strategic supplier with whom we can interact, we can take 
the help of their expertise they are called as a strategic supply now my question is that till now it seems that supply chain is management is very easy but it is not so supply chain management is very difficult because the supply chain management is also associated with the development chain there are two objectives one is your minimization of cost and another one is your maximization of service or maintaining the service and another important point is that we also work on the global optimization global optimization means we have to minimize the system wide cost it is not like that we want to reduce the cost at the supplier end or the dealer end we have to optimize the cost globally another important point which comes in the supply chain management is the uncertainty or the risk now why there is a uncertainty because there is a uncertainty in the customer demand there is a uncertainty in reaching the goods to the destination risk is always there because once we are outsourcing certain items there are chances of lower quality or bad quality or untimely delivery of the product the point which i was focusing earlier that why the supply chain management is difficult because there is also a chain it is called as a development chain development chain is a set of activities which are associated with the production of a product now the, i have divided into two categories one is your product architecture that what to make and what should be uh, manufacture inside and what should buy from the outside just like we need the supplier who will be our supplier and what should be the criteria for the supplier selection and also the strategic partnership if you just see the figure this is the development chain which is coming and if you just see the horizontal it will give you the picture of a supply chain that is supply production distribution and sale this is a horizontal line which will give you the uh, picture of a supply chain management while plant design source or production that is comes under the development chain hewitt packer is the first company which pointed out about the existence of the development chain when they were manufacturing their inkjet printer uh, they were introducing they found that the supply chain complexity depends upon the product architecture if your product architecture is simple your supply chain will be simple if product architecture is complex the uh, this will also be complex so what is happening in a supply chain there are three vps that is engineering manufacturing and the supply chain management or logistic all three vps are thinking separately the manufacturing or the engineering will focus on the development chain because he or she will be responsible for producing or designing or planning the product the vice president of manufacturing is associated with the production or the manufacturing of the product finally the vice president of the supply chain or logistic is responsible for fulfilling the customer demand so there are different objectives just like supplier wants that manufacturer should always give them a large quantities what manufacturer will do they want the smooth production line and beside that both warehouse and the distributor 
will like to reduce the inventory so you see that supply chain is a very complex network of facilities and that is to disperse the large geographical area even across the pan india or across the world i will take the complexity by giving you one example there is a company called national semiconductor which is a largest chip maker company their competitors are motorola and intel their products are chip cellular phone or computer they have two fabrication unit one is in usa and another one is uk they have a testing facility and assembling facility at china malaysia and singapore their finished products are shipped to the apple canon delphi ford ibm hp and semen but in spite of that <clears throat> they are not able to achieve 100% service level 95% service level with 45 days they can cover shipping they are using 12 airline carriers and using 20000 different routes so you here just see the how complex is your supply chain now we will come to the benefits of supply chain management there are six main benefits the lower inventories higher productivity greater agility shorter lead times higher profits and greater customer loyalty or the customer satisfaction these are the few examples where with the better supply chain management they got the benefit in their supply chain or in their organization so in today's session what we have learned that what is supply chain why there is a need of a supply chain management we have also learned what is development chain and what are the benefits of a supply chain management i trust that my session will be helpful to you in studying and uh, having enhancing your capability in the area of supply chain management thank you